am 22 years old and last week I moved from England to South Korea um, so now I live here and I've been living here for just over a week now so I am still within my 14 day mandatory quarantine um, but before I came I was obsessed with watching like apartment tours of people that had moved here as English teachers which is what I'm doing so I thought it was only fair that I do a tour of my own apartment now that I am all settled so yeah I hope you enjoy and let me know below if you have any questions just a tiny little side note by the way I think this apartment is a little bit bigger than what people would normally get um I think the norm is to get a studio apartment but I was lucky enough to have well the people that lived here previously were a couple so it's slightly larger to facilitate the fact that a couple was living here and it just so come happened that when they were leaving kind of coincided with when I was coming so I was lucky enough to get into this apartment um so yeah it's a little bit bigger I think than the standard but yeah I will show you around now okay so I am just in the front little bit of my apartment now so this is my door um, I'm not allowed to exit my door because I'm in quarantine but we're going to imagine that I've just walked through the door and then this is what I see. So as you walk in there's this little area which is very typical in South Korea so it's an area to switch out your outdoor shoes for your indoor shoes um, and yeah that's pretty standard and then to the right here I have this beautiful um, bit of storage which has been so handy. Um, to keep all my things in so I've kind of got like my extra toiletries and a lot of my clothes that don't need to be hung up and just extra bits down the bottom um, which is super handy and then this is my front door so it locks automatically it's a keypad to get in and then yeah so it's also got a couple of like hangers here so I have been keeping my mask here and then so as you enter you've got these slidey doors that open up into the actual apartment so yeah as you come in on the right we have my kitchen which is a very large kitchen um compared to things i've seen so yeah i've just it's literally the biggest sink i've ever seen i can't lie and then i've just got an area to hang up all my drying and sauces and things and then in here i have most of my food so a lot of this came in like the quarantine um care package and if you want to see what else you get in that then i did do a previous video on it so it's like a lot of rice ramen seaweed things like that and then in the next drawer over or next cupboard over sorry is more kind of pans cups plates bowls all of those nice things and down here i just keep some fruit my vitamins um, my water flosser because that will not fit in my bathroom and then some extra bits just down here all of my cleaning supplies are in this big double cupboard which is very handy some extra bits in here so i've got all of my herbal teas that i've ordered and um, some cereal and some korean convenience store snacks actually which are pretty nice i did try them this morning then in here I've just got all of my cutlery and utensils, tea towels, chopping board, things like that. And I'm using this plastic bag just on here at the end to put all of my food waste in at the moment. And then down here, which <laughs> seems to have gotten a little bit jammed, is pots, pans and things like that basically. And then this is my hobs. I was lucky enough that someone left a kettle which has been incredibly handy but yep so these are the hobs and you just twizzle this thing around here and then that will let you turn on the hobs as you normally would and then you just switch that off once you're all done so yeah that is the kitchen area and we've also got some water down here um because obviously you don't drink tap water here so we've just got a whole load of bottled water We've got my fridge freezer, so I'm not going to open the freezer part because at the moment that's where I'm keeping all of my food waste so it doesn't go off. And my fridge is pretty sparse, so I, I won't show you that either. On the side of my fridge, I just have my quarantine countdown, so I'm currently on day nine, so not very long at all left to go now until I will be free from quarantine and able to actually start my job. <laughs> um, and then over here these are huge windows really handy open up really wide a lot of fresh air in during the quarantine and then this is just 
in my desk that I put up myself actually from Ikea so the stool and the desk didn't come with the apartment but I ordered them from Ikea and put them up myself so I've got that some books a little picture that my friend got me which is so cute because that's the UK and South Korea there and then I also bought this mirror from Ikea which has been really handy then over here I have got so this is the entrance where oh gosh ignore that this is the entrance where you walk in my wardrobe down here I've just got a little bit of like a makeup station because I wasn't really sure where else to put it and then we've got my wardrobe here which I just have some clothes hanging in and a little backpack at the bottom and then this is what it kind of looks like from this angle. Now we are going to brush past the insane amount of cardboard in the corner of my apartment because I've had a lot of deliveries. So I've got a lot of boxes, but I can't throw anything out until after my quarantine. So yeah, we will just pretend that that is not there. Thank you. Um, so through here, we've just got two doors. And this first one is my bathroom, which is a wet room. Most bathrooms in Korea are wet rooms. So yeah, just got my bin down there, bath mat, um, all of my toiletries there. And then this is just a cabinet where I keep all of the things that I kind of need in the bathroom. And yeah, so it's got a nice size kind of mirror in here as well. And this is a water filter. So a lot of people opt to buy these when they're here because apparently the water is quite bad for your hair a lot of people have problems with it making their hair fall out which i mean i will take their word for it because i don't want that to happen to me um so i one of the first things i bought was this um water filter from g market um which actually is really nice the way that the water comes out of it it's really lovely and um, so yeah i'm glad that i purchased that here i've just got all of toiletry bits and a window up here that you can open and then we can just walk out of here and to my right we have another door and this takes me into my laundry room um is what i would kind of call it so i think that's the boiler i've got somewhere to hang things storing a couple of my suitcases there and my washing and this washing machine um which i have not yet tried to use but that will be my next my next challenge um if anyone knows how to use this please let me know oh and if anyone knows the best way to dispose of all of this because i don't think anyone's gonna be particularly amused if i just put this all outside of my apartment please do feel free to let me know and then we're gonna walk over there to that room which is my bedroom oh quick side note this is my heating system and um, where i can kind of sort out turning on the hot water and the general heating which i haven't needed yet and this system here, if I click this once, it shows me outside my door. And if I click it twice, then it shows me outside the building. So I can let people in and I can also see who's outside the door before I answer it, which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. So in we go to the bedroom. And this is probably my favourite room. Um, it gets really, it gets all the sunlight in here, basically, because of these two big windows. Um, and there's actually a really nice view from that window as well. So yeah, this is my bedroom. So I've got a nice double bed. All of my bedding and things I ordered from Ikea. Um, made this bedside table as well from Ikea. Honestly, I've been so impressed with myself because I never thought I would be able to put anything together. But here we go. And um, plus the desk and the stool in the other room. I'm very impressed with myself. Put up some Polaroids just to make it feel a little bit more homely. Big window there. Some more pictures over here. And then this all came with the apartment. So this thing here with the TV and the TV stand, that was all already here. I haven't used the TV yet. I don't know how to use it. But it's also got loads of storage space. So there are three drawers here that I've put stuff in. Um, and yeah, just like got some cards from home, some sunglasses. And up here is my aircon, which I have not yet had to use and probably won't need to use for quite a long time as we are now coming into winter. But yeah, and then just on the back of my door, I have my dressing gown and my towel, which I brought from home. 
so yeah that is my apartment tour um if you're interested let me know and i can do a little bit more of an in-depth tour and show you kind of what i got and what i brought with me and um, i'm more than happy to do that so yeah just let me know and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you are looking to start teaching and career and move to career then the best of luck i hope it all goes smoothly